Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Did you know that Thanksgiving turns 400 years old this year? Well, depends on who you ask. The, the first Thanksgiving that you heard about in elementary school happened in 1621. However, that day actually wasn't even called Thanksgiving. It was just called a harvest festival. Um, after surviving another winter and another year, it was just a natural occurrence, a, na a natural thing that happened. Um, they wanted to celebrate that they lived another year so that they, they all got together and they did. It was spontaneous. But the first government-ordered day of Thanksgiving in that same colony took place in 1623, where they just ordered a day of Thanksgiving, a day to, to give thanks to God, uh, to give thanks for all that had happened in their lives up to that point. When we remember our past, when we look over the past year since our last Thanksgivings, and, or even just a couple of weeks or a couple of days ago or a couple of minutes ago, there might be a lot to give thanks for. And we're always thankful for the highs, but what about the lows? What if in your past there aren't a lot of things to give thanks for? What if some of those are even your fault? What then? Psalm 77. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will meditate on all your works and consider all your mighty deeds. If you look at the past, and it doesn't seem to be a past worth remembering. If you look to yourself and you don't see hope and you don't see a future, look to God. Remember his mighty deeds. Remember his past from long ago. Remember Jesus, who, who worked wonders and miracles, the miracle, the greatest miracle of, of dying for our sins and then rising from the dead. Look to that past. Look to that miracle. Jesus will be your anchor in all of the ups and the downs of life. You can still give thanks because we remember Jesus and we remember what he's done for us. And as we remember our American past, as you remember your personal past on this day, of thanksgiving. Give thanks. Give thanks for all the blessings God has given you this last year, but, but if you look at yourself and you don't see much hope, and you don't see a life worth giving thanks for, instead, remember Jesus and give thanks for him.